When and How to Use Glucagon, Treatment of Severe Hypoglycemia, by the Endocrinology Education Program at the Hospital for Sick Children. This video explains how to treat severe hypoglycemia with glucagon in children who do not have diabetes. Please note, the images in this video are for illustrative purposes only and do not constitute the hospital's endorsement of a specific brand or product. What is hypoglycemia? Hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar, is a blood sugar level lower than 3.5 millimoles per liter. To treat hypoglycemia, it is important to always have a source of fast-acting sugar, such as juice, formula, or expressed breast milk, with your child. How much fast-acting sugar to give your child to treat hypoglycemia is usually based on their age. This table shows some of the suggested amounts. What is severe hypoglycemia? Hypoglycemia is considered severe when your child is unable to help themselves and requires assistance from another person. During severe hypoglycemia, a person may experience any of the following. Drunken-like behavior that can include slurred speech, staggering, combative behavior, and confusion. Very low energy, being extremely tired or difficult to wake up. Loss of consciousness, such as fainting or unable to wake up, or convulsions or seizures. What is glucagon? Glucagon is an emergency medication used to treat severe hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. Glucagon is a hormone made in the pancreas. It stimulates the liver to release stored glucose into the bloodstream when blood sugar levels are too low. When is glucagon used? When your child has severe hypoglycemia, the production of their own body's glucagon is turned off by the insulin that is working too well. Glucagon is given when your child cannot independently and or safely take an oral hypoglycemia treatment. How is glucagon given? Glucagon is given by syringe. Preparing to give glucagon. If you can, check your child's blood sugar level before giving this medication. If you cannot check your child's blood sugar level before giving the glucagon, that is okay. Give the glucagon as you do not want to delay treatment if a severe low blood sugar is happening. Giving glucagon when the blood sugar is normal or high will not cause harm to your child. Gather your supplies. You will need your hypoglycemia kit, which should include the glucagon kit, an insulin syringe, an alcohol swab, a cotton ball, and an adhesive bandage. How to prepare injectable glucagon. Step one, flip off the seal from the vial of glucagon powder. Step two, remove the needle cover from the syringe. Step three, insert the needle into the rubber stopper on the vial. Then inject the entire contents of the syringe into the vial of glucagon powder. Step four, remove the syringe from the vial. Then, gently swirl the vial until the liquid becomes clear. Glucagon should not be used unless the solution is clear and of a water-like consistency. If the vial is not gently swirled, the medication may foam and become very bubbly. This will make it hard to withdraw the medication. And step five, insert the insulin syringe into the vial and slowly withdraw the liquid. Steps for drawing up glucagon. You begin by taking your insulin syringe and taking the white plastic cap off the side of the plunger. Then you take the orange cap off the side of the needle by pulling straight out. Gently insert your insulin syringe into the glucagon vial. Flip the insulin syringe and vial upside down. Withdraw the amount ordered by your endocrinology team. Remove the insulin syringe from the vial. If there are air bubbles present, while holding the insulin syringe upright, gently flick the needle to move the air bubble to the top of the syringe. Gently push the plunger up to release the air. Tiny air bubbles will not harm your child. After removing the air bubbles, if the amount pulled up is not sufficient, 
insert the insulin syringe back into the glucagon vial to withdraw the amount ordered. You are now ready to administer your child's glucagon dose. The amount to give your child is based on their weight. Use this table as a reference. For example, if the child is between 10 and 12 kilograms, give them 0.35 milligrams of glucagon, or 35 units on an insulin syringe. If the child is over 16 kilograms, give them 1 milligram of glucagon, or 100 units on an insulin syringe. Immediately after mixing, inject the glucagon into the buttock, arm, or thigh, and then withdraw the needle. Apply light pressure against the injection site. Next steps after giving glucagon. Call 911 or bring your child to the nearest emergency room. If your child is unconscious, place them in the recovery position after giving glucagon. When an unconscious person wakes up after receiving glucagon, they may vomit. Stay with your child until they wake up and or help arrives. Important points. Keep the glucagon kit somewhere that is easily accessible. Please check and make sure the glucagon is not expired. Bring this medication with you when traveling. And teach all caregivers and other family members, such as older siblings, when and how to use this medication in case of a severe low blood sugar. We are here to help. If you have questions or need further tips, please contact your endocrinology team.